We will continue with the resources folder and we will learn about the fonts. So here in the resources folder, there is no font folder declared directly. So I can create a new Android resource directory. I resource type, I select it as font and the directory name would be font, resource type font and the resource set main source folder. Click OK and it will be creating the folder called font. Now, what we will do, we are going to copy this Gilroy font that I have created and downloaded it from the internet. So you can download any font, OTF, and I will paste it here. Its extension should be OTF or other font uh, extensions. So name, okay. It's named as Gilroy EX. If I open it, this is the Gilroy Extra Bold. Now, how to make use of this font? If I open the main activity and I go to the activity main, I declare here, if you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. A text view, match parent, app content, ID, ID text view, the nine, and font font family i make use of font for resource folder which is Geroy x i will show you the difference and how this works by using the text displaying the text at the first time hello my friends and size it would be 32 dp here if I remove the font family, this is the font. This is the default font. So I will add the font family and it will be font Geroy extra bold. You see the, uh, the difference between using the different fonts and will give your app a very exclusive uh, UI attraction. So using fonts is very important and we love using custom fonts. Uh, in Android, there is a lot of font included, but we prefer using custom fonts like Geroy, like Monstrat, like uh, uh, SF Poppins, and so on. So this is the make, uh, make usage of the font and how to create a font folder and how to add the uh, custom fonts to your 